So I've been riding the Burton Parkitect board today. It's a relatively new board in their line, and it's the board that Zach Hale and Jeremy Jones ride on all their urban street missions. The board has a traditional camber profile, which is really refreshing actually um, to ride with all of these reverse camber boards, rocker boards, you know, um, all these crazy hybrids. It's really refreshing to get on a traditional camber board and have that predictable snappy pop that you get. As you'd expect from a rail and park board, the Parkitect has a true twin shape, so it rides just as well switch as it does regular. Bird have introduced a couple cool tech features into this board. The first one being Squeezebox te technology, which you may have heard of on some of their other boards. What Squeezebox is, is sections of core on the outside of the bindings that are slightly thicker. So the difference between this squeeze box technology is rather than have it at 90 degrees perpendicular to the edge, what they've done here is angled it at 15 degrees and 15 degrees. So the perfect duck foot stance that most park riders will choose to ride with. What that's going to do is essentially give park riders the pop exactly where they need it so it's really in tune with their stance. To go along with that, They've also in included what they call frostbite technology and they've also made this off-axis frostbite technology. So on the toe side edge, the edge actually extends 0.5 millimetres around where, where your toes are, so here and here. They've also done the same on the heel side edge, so just extending the board very slightly underneath the heels and that's going to give you extra grip in exactly the right place where you need it, exactly where the pressure is going um, into the edge. So I'm really a fan of the graphics on this board. Uh, as you can see, you've got a big circle of girls surrounding you just because if you ride this board, you're going to be the G of the party. All the ladies want to talk to you. And if you're lucky, or you probably will be, you'll end up with a bra hanging off your bed. So with the spring conditions that we've been riding today, this board was really the perfect choice to take out. I'm riding quite a short 150 version, so really maneuverable. And the board's got quite a lively flex. It is a park and rail board, but it's definitely not a noodle. It's got a ton of pop and it'd be a really, really good kicker board in my opinion. So today I was riding this board around on the piece, hitting loads of side hits, buttering around, and it was a lot of fun. Um, had no problems with speed thanks to the fast centered base. And it's generally a really good park jib board. Um, Burton riders, uh, Ollie Dutton and Ross Needham ride this board in the domes and out in, in resorts a lot and it's their go-to board for kickers, rails and everything in between.